Hello friends! My previous review was dedicated to the Parkside 20 volt portable vacuum cleaner, of the package of which did not include the battery and charger. But as I mentioned in that video, I've purchased the battery separately. As to its charger, of course you can buy it separately, but I've made it myself. In view of the battery voltage, here we have power supply unit designed for 24 volts, like this one. As to the DC-DC converter, here we have exactly the same one. The output voltage amounts to a bit more than 20 volts and the output amperage amounts to 1.5 amps. It's recommended to charge lithium cells with the current of 0.5C, which for this battery amounts to 2 amps, but I've adjusted the charger to a bit less current, in order to avoid overheat, especially in view of a very small fan cooler. Here we have 20.7 volts, and here we have output voltage of the power supply unit, 24 volts. So the accuracy of these volt amp meters is acceptable. And now about the connection of the charger and the battery. Of course we can use something like this. I mean the following. But first of all the connection is not reliable, but the real problem is that you may change the polarity, which is really dangerous, and in some cases it also may be dangerous for you. In case you have 3D printer, this problem will be solved easily, but this video will help most likely the people who have no possibility to print the corresponding adapter, but who have hot glue gun, and also some more tools. Terminals, wires, also we will need this tool, a DC female connector, and also the soldering iron. Now let's turn the hot glue gun on, and we will also need some mineral oil on the safe side. It's not so hot yet. Let's wait a bit. Now it's too hot. We can use a wire. Put it approximately here, uh, the connection will be much better. The 3D is really a very great solution, but once more we do it now for the people who have no 3D printer.
as to the front side. In case of a piece of plastic, we can apply it here or even a piece of wood like this one. So we should cut it. But in case we have no piece of wood, we can use this silicone. Even this piece of silicone is melting. Well, silicone is really not the excellent solution, but in case you have no plastic and no possibility to melt it, well, this method really works. Let's even try to remove it. Not possible. Very interesting. Here everything is okay. What about this part? It was a bit glued. Now it's okay. Let's try once again. Not bad. We can even disassemble the battery and remove the silicone, but it's not necessary. It's a very soft material and that's good. It's normal to see all the silicone here. It's really okay. And it's very easy to remove it. Well, these two sides are very weak, but we will strengthen them. Now let's try to remove the adapter. It's more or less okay. Let's strengthen it a bit here with more silicone. Also let's cut here. So this part should be strengthened anyway. First of all, let's strengthen this part and then this one. We should add silicone a bit here and this one will be definitely hard.
let's check. It's not so hard, but anyway, it's okay. Now let's check this adapter. It's okay. It works. So besides this battery, I have also the works 20 volt battery. Well, the capacity of which is also 4 amp hours. And this is my first adapter. Even without of this part. So you see the amperage decreases because of the battery is almost fully charged. Besides of these two batteries, I have also the following one. So here battery 1 minus and battery 1 plus is the first battery and battery 2 minus and battery 2 plus is the second 20 volt battery. In case we use a 20 volt device, all these two contacts and these two contacts are in parallel in the device itself. And in case of 40 volt device, the plus contact of the first battery is connected to the minus contact of the second battery. But I have no need of 40 volts, so that's why in my adapter minus contacts and plus contacts are connected in parallel. So here we have minus contacts, here plus contacts. And besides standard DC connector, I've also used XT60. Moreover, besides this 4 amp hour battery, I've got another one, the capacity of which amounts to 1.5 amp hours, and I decided to increase its capacity with the help of this one. Naturally, I've disassembled this battery and made the corresponding changes. Some people may say that such silicone adapter is not so safe, and I also had the same opinion, but in such situation it's really very reliable. So it's very difficult to remove. The only problem of this adapter is that you must not short circuit these terminals. The disadvantage of this battery is that it has no charge level indicator, but the second one does have it. Of course, this solution is heavier than this one, but here we have only 4 amp hours, and here in total we have 20 volts and 6.5 amp hours. Well, that's all for this video. Hope it was helpful for you. Thanks for watching. Wish you good luck.